So we are really excited to open our 2023 programme with works by the acclaimed abstract artist John Blackburn. John is a wonderful painter, was a wonderful painter I should say, sadly he died in October 2022. But I was lucky enough to meet John in August uh, and he was very excited about this exhibition. I went with Jacqueline to see his work, uh, we had a great time with him, we picked work for this show which I think looks beautiful. I felt so fortunate to have met John and to visit his studio in Canterbury in the summer of last year. We also enjoyed many telephone conversations together and not all of them were about art. When I explained to John that I had decided to exhibit his very latest paintings, he was so very excited. At 90, John had this incredible energy. He visited his studio every day to paint, and so showing these new works were really important to him. The paintings in the front room were the earlier works, in particular the uh, black L um, on brown with the white square at the bottom was painted in 1964 and this painting gives the exhibition a sort of a starting point and a context for these latest revisitation series which are on display here. I'd say the majority of the paintings in this show were painted between 2018 and 2022 and most of them have never been exhibited before. I think it's just a fabulous exhibition. I love the fact that um, there's so much of Father's work here from, you know, a, a, a painting from 1964 right through to more recent work. It's a beautiful gallery, a lovely space, and I think it's, it, it's wonderful. I think, I think tonight's exhibition is just, it's phenomenal because there's a lot of work here that I know very well but it hasn't been shown before. And that's very special to have work that's not been shown before. Um, my Uncle John, he was, he was such a charismatic man. He was a magnetic personality. Um, people were drawn to him because of his, his character and his personality. He was very, very special. We got on really well. There was um, a, a sort of naivety about him, an unworldliness, but he had the sharpest intellect and he cared about the world around him. You know. I painted with him uh, as a child uh, from you know before I could talk really um, uh, up until about maybe 17 uh, and I haven't painted with him for a while um, uh, but yeah, it was wonderful you know, he was he was uh, uh, the harshest critic um, uh, but always encouraging. I'm aware that the Vanna uh, Gallery has been sort of finding its feet over the last uh, year or so and it's great to see another fantastic uh, exhibition here this evening. Obviously John Blackburn's work is uh, phenomenal, over seven decades he's had a phenomenal career and um, obviously very sad he passed uh, a couple of months ago but it's great to see such a range of his work here and to meet some of his family as well. I'm a freelance watercolour artist myself on a really small scale. My partner's a freelance artist. I live and breathe art. I love, um, love everything about it and this is just such a fantastic um, example of uh, someone's incredible life's work and revisiting their oeuvre and just enhancing it and it's, it's beautiful to see. We're thrilled to do this exhibition with Osborne Samuel, a London gallery that represented John. And they had a, a plan for a whole series of exhibitions to mark John's 90th year. The first one, of course, was in their gallery in London. And we talked together about bringing uh, John's work to Salisbury. Well, Salisbury is a centre for culture, for history and, and the arts. And I've always been very clear about the distinctive uh, heritage that we have in the city. And uh, I think the visual arts are very important. And uh, Whatever stage the economy's in, we still need to feel good about our culture, our history and express ourselves as human beings and you see that on show here today and it's great to see so many people here enjoying the art on display.